Good morning, guys. Yeah, we got a kitty present so we can proceed. Um, this is something I kind of picked up on a whim. I've owned at one time or another, well, to the date of that time, I owned uh, every production Emerson folding knife made. And, albeit that was like 10 years ago, but um, still. Oh, I hear some hissing going on. Okay, so um, as I've been refining what I want out of a locking so-called tactical folder, I've come to a few different criteria. One of them is pocket clip has to be mounted for right-handed, um, traditional right-handed front pocket style carry because I carry my folder left-handed and my rear pocket right here mm -hmm. which means it also has to be and i can actually say this now it also has to be waved and this knife of course is emerson so it's waved and um one of the criteria i've added as of late is it has to have a flipper and the flipper acts as a integral guard to keep my hand from sliding up on the blade so if you've noticed, flipper, guard, um, I can't say that word with that knife, <laughs> flipper, guard, I can't say that word with that knife, <laughs> but this, yeah, flipper, guard, wave, yeah, and the pocket clips you'll notice are all mounted to enable the same kind of draw into reverse grip edge out, left handed. So, I am very pleased with this, actually. More pleased than I expected to be. So, um, with the flipper, you've got ball bearings, uh, um, uh, ball bearing race pivots. And that means that your detent is going to be stronger than the typical um, non-ball bearing Emerson detent is. Because I've had to bend a few detents uh, tougher, or, or with to add more, um, more, uh, you know, um, bias on on Emerson detents on this side, yeah. But um, this seems to have solved that problem. Also, because it is a um, ball bearing pivot and a flipper, the stop pin is actually internal inside of a track that's inside the blade. So you can picture like a little a radius milled inside that blade and a pin is fixed right inside there kind of like this yeah mm -hmm. actually this one is a little different because the pin is built into the blade and you can see that it goes through a milled uh, radius inside the handles but yeah this also caught my eye because it is S35 VN which is a step above what Emerson usually uses CP or 154 CM as far as dimensions, it is the typical CQC7 size. We got a 3 and 1 eighth sharpen length. Um, let's see here. To the tip of the scale, we got 3 and a quarter. Total length is... Let's see here. 3 and 7 eighths. Yeah. Eighth inch thick blade. And I am not sure whether these liners are steel or titanium, but also something curious about the uh, Flipper 7 is the lockup, no matter, and this is why I'm curious to see whether it's titanium or not, but no matter the lockup, uh, the, the opening, the thwack, the hard fucking, um, you know, wave, which usually will prematurely push an Emerson, um, an, uh, most Emerson's almost all the way to the right. This lock has not moved a bit. It doesn't matter how I open it. I thwack it, I flip it, I can thumb it. It still is in the same spot. And that's why I'm so pleasantly surprised. So I was thinking, okay, I pulled the trigger. Crap, what am I gonna do now? This is gonna suck and I'm gonna have to take a little loss selling it. But no, actually, I, I like this, and this will be around for a while. I think this will 
actually um, bump this guy out of rotation. This will go back in the safe because just the plain fact of a recurve and you know versus a knife with no recurve just maintenance wise it's a lot easier for me since I don't have a since I only use a uh, bench stone type of thing or um, I strop on my flat plate and on my belt grinder so this will uh, it, it will see carry occasionally but I think uh, it's actually been bumped out by this. Who'd have thought? Oh yeah, one last detail. How much does this thing weigh? Oh yeah, it's on grams. Uh, 4.970 ounces. Still not nothing fancy approved. Yeah, the Emerson CQC7 design holds a special place in my heart because as a young teenager, I first um, fell in love with a Benchmade 970 titanium blade part serrated carbonized edge. It was a CQC7. I, di I didn't know what it was about it, but that ugly stealth bomber geometry of the single sided grind, I, I just, I instantly got wood. And this style blade still does it for me. There's just something about the Emerson 7 profile that I will always love. <clears throat> so I'm glad I have one that actually works and works to my needs. All right, cool deal. So if you were on the fence about these, it's worth a try. Especially if you are carrying the way I do. All right, all right. As always, stay armed, stay alert, stay alive. Hua, God bless. Later.